if you have got an electrical bike battery, this means you have a huge electrical energy storage. For example, if your battery is 48 volts with capacity 10 amp hours, the total energy is 400 80 watt hours. Assume that the essential electronic devices for you is laptop, smartphone and light source. So let's calculate how many times it can charge and walk. The average laptop battery has a battery 60 to 100 watt hours capacity. The average smartphone has a battery is 10 to 12 watt hours capacity. Sufficient light diode illuminance source is 10 to 15 watts. So, considering the power loses, you can charge your laptop twice, your smartphone five times and have a good light six to ten hours. It's not bad for rolling blackouts. First, I design a structural diagram. So, let's just look at the drawing that represents the basic parts and connection sequence of required components to understand the architecture of of autonomous power supply system. The main component is battery pack that has voltage level indicator and could be charged with external charger. For safety and easy complete shutdown of the system, voltage converters connected through fuse and button switcher. First stage converter step down voltage to approximately 19 volts. That convenient for most common laptops with DC socket input. Then 19 volts suitable for connect many DC-DC modules such as 5 volt with USB socket and converter with constant current mode for supply LEDs. Let's look at the energy storage device. It's a big e-bike battery with standard plastic case. The power connector is not convenient for for us, but we will solve this problem. If you have e-bike, that means you have a charger, so just use it. Very useful to know the current voltage level to don't over discharge your battery and sustain optimal charge value. 50 to 75 percent. My battery has widespread and convenient connector for fast installation on bike, but not convenient for custom electrical connection. To solve this problem, I made contacts with PR4 soldered textolite and a couple of wires, and then isolate it with heat shrink tube. As you can see, only two contacts, positive and negative of 5 used in my battery. Typical electrical vehicle battery have a high voltage to achieve high travel speed and strong traction. So my battery nominal voltage is 48 volts. The type of internal elements is lithium ion cells. So I have 13 elements connected in series and the total minimum voltage is 48 volts and maximum voltage is 54 volts. The battery voltage range is very important because affect the main DC-DC selection. So I choose synchronous buck converter with input voltage up to 60 volts and output current 15 ampere with additional cooling and convenient screw terminals. If you have an old laptop Laptop with DC input voltage just adjust output voltage to approximately 19 volts. Check your AC charger for exact value and use appropriate DC jack. Double check polarity before connection. But even if you have got a modern laptop with, with USB-C power delivery input, it's not a problem because there are many special devices with PD protocol full compatibility, including 20 volts 5 ampere, that means 100 watt, like this device PDS100. To properly supply LED panels, I choose DC DC with CC mode, constant current mode. So, even if you use long 
wires and when board heat up the current will stay stable. DC DC 5 volts not just a buck converter 5 volts but support weak charge and other protocols with higher output voltage for faster phone charging. Module has only one USB A output but there are many similar boards with two to four outputs. To make a light source you can use four LED strip 12 volts connected in series but I have got a special board panels on this PCB many LED connected in parallel so for properly supply panels without driver I need a DC DC converter with constant current mode as I choose before typical power of big panel is 10 watts but this limited only by heat dissipation but on switch should be able to commute high current 15 amperes minimum but bigger value is recommended because input capacitance of first DC DC is big. So according to the concept from structural diagram and all real parts selected for quick assembly of power bank system. Now all parts assembled together except fuse. Screw terminals give a chance to connect most of parts without soldering. It's recommended to use 1.5 to 2.5 square millimeters wire to have enough electrical and mechanical safety and don't use wooden base like I. Not ideal but it works. Custom contacts connected always to turn the system change position of toggle switch to right. Now light is illuminated that means first DC DC works and you can charge laptop using the external DC jack. Second DC DC with uh, constant current also works and you can regulate brightness by trim variable resistor on the board. The blue light on the DC DC 5 volts also lights. That means you can uh, charge a phone, tablet or other small electronic device with USB cable and with some additional converters the battery from electrical vehicle could be very useful because store valuable energy in comparison to typical electronic devices and with some additional converters could be used as emergency huge power bank system.